Hello everyone, it's Caribbean E and welcome to the channel. We trust that everybody's having a marvelous day and that you guys are in the best of health. In today's inspirational message, I'm talking about overthinking. Overthinking. And the scripture I want to use today is coming from the book of Jeremiah, the 29th chapter and 11th verse. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil so overthinking because a lot of us have overthought the things of God for so many years and it made us have bad reactions do things wrong think things wrong and get out of the will of God so this message comes to all of those that have un underestimated their destiny and their purpose that God has placed you here on this earth. So God said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you. That cancels out what anybody else thinks about you. A lot of people has misjudged God and have underestimated his purpose for their lives. For in this scripture, it tells us in the Holy Scriptures that the thoughts that God has for us are not destructive or negative, but only positive. And that's a beautiful thought pattern to have, but God has that for us because he loves us that much. And it doesn't matter who don't like you and who won't let you in their circle. So even when We've made some of the biggest mistakes in our lives. God said, I'm thinking of you. The same way, for he changes not. So God said, I change not because I am the same today, yesterday, and forever. And because you went through a situation, whether it was a divorce, or something happens, you backslid, you, you don't pray, you stop reading your Bible. God said, I'm still thinking the same thing towards you because there is hope. It's you the one that be overthinking. And when you're overthinking, you can't begin to see the reality of what God has planned for your life. When God said, let there be light, there was light. And he created the universe in six days and rested on the seven. Then he created Adam. And he looked at Adam and his progress and he said, you know what? It's not good for him to be alone. I'm going to give him a helpmate. Why? Because God was thinking about him. So our situations change all the time. But God remains the same. For he is the same yesterday, again, and today, and forever. So Jeremiah 29 11 tells us, it encourages us about God sticking towards us. It stirs us up to move ahead and not sit and be in despair. It's about someone who believes that we can do the task that God has given us, who will be with us all of the days of our lives. Only God knows the future and his plans for us are good and full of hope as long as we trust him and believe him because he knows the agenda of your life. When you took your first breath, he was there. And when you take your last breath, he's going to be there. So, he has a mission for you and I in this life. This does not mean we will be spared pain, suffering, or hardships. But, God will see us through everything that we're wrestling with to a glorious conclusion and not based on the season of our thinking. And when something happens in our lives, we have the tendency of beginning to think different. Because we begin to question God and say, why God, why'd you let that happen to me? But we forget about Romans 8 and 28 where it says, and all things work together for the good. For them who will love God, who are called according to his purpose, not your purpose, not your cousin, your nephew, your brother, your sister's purpose, but for God's purpose. That's why we say, may God be the glory 
for the things he has done. My next point is we should never overthink our past. Because you, if you had a bad past, bad childhood, been abused, made some bad decisions with your finances, or everything else in your life, that don't mean the story is over. God still thinks of you just like he thought of you when he was in your mother's belly. Yes, we fall short. We fall down, but we get up for the glory of God. Now, a bad day doesn't mean a bad life. You overthought that, not God, because God is still depending on you to do great things. He trusted Job. He took the hedge around Job and the enemy, was the devil was messing with him. But God knew that before he even took the hedge and gave the devil permission to mess with Job, he knew that Job would stand fast in the liberty that Christ had already had set him free. Question, can God trust you today? Or, or are you still living on overthinking street? And everything that happens to you in your life, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking the day that you were born. You're overthinking the job that you're at right now. You're overthinking how you're going to live tomorrow. If God can feed the ravens, if he can feed the lions and the tigers, and if he can feed the beasts in the oceans, how much more will he do for you? So it's, we need to go to another level as it relates to our thinking. We should be wiser and smarter and determined to reach our goals like never before. It's time for us to start thinking about what God thinks of you and not what church folks think of you or your co-workers think of you because what they think of you is really not important but it's what God think of you and God has already said don't put words in my mouth don't overthink me I already know the thoughts and the things that I have prepared for you yes your children are dis disarray they disrespecting you your health might not be on point but God said in the midst of all of the chaos in your life I still know the thoughts that I think towards you and those thoughts have not changed. I'm still thinking the same thing. Your situation has changed. You might not have much money as you want. You might not have this or that. But God's saying today to you, stop overthinking him and understand that he's thinking the same thing towards you as he did before you even made any mistakes. Of course, you have not dotted every I and you have crossed any T. God is the same today, henceforth and forever. And he's got your back. So relax and rest in him. And know that he is a God that cannot lie. And he is a God that cannot fail. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this message today. We pray, God, that you'll get us out of the frame of mind of overthinking you. Overthinking your provision. And that we'll begin to trust you like we never trusted you before that our faith and our trust will reach beyond borders, beyond limitations, without stumbling blocks, that we may begin to trust you and launch out into the deep and begin to think and understand that you have our best plan in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Stop overthinking and trust God and believe God, for he's well able to do anything but fall, but, but fail. And no fault can be withheld from him. So, in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life is to be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription, notification, and thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video. And may God bless you all. Peace.